Hi, I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One. Today we're going to talk about backup storage consolidation. You know, the data center is just full of storage silos, and it's getting to the point where we have silos now within silos. And one of the best examples of that, or worst examples of that, is the backup storage infrastructure. And if you look at the typical backup storage infrastructure today, you've got, uh, of course, the backup server, and which is running the backup software typically. Uh, that typically is going to back up to a backup appliance uh, to store the actual data. Backup software, though, is an application. It creates its own data, uh, and that, that needs to actually perform quite well. And so what we call backup metadata, so that's the indexes or backup databases that tells uh, where the versions of the different files are and things like that. That requires uh, storage. And then at some point, you want to retain this data for a long period of time. This is a growing trend, sort of an archive or retention for the backup. A lot of times to try to help solve uh, ransomware problems, uh, this is also immutable. So you basically do your backups here, then transfer the older data uh, or make a copy to your retention tier. And then finally, something that's usually a, uh, missing in most environments is a need for recovery storage, a, a clean uh, environment that you can recover to. We uh, just did a video on that called uh, What is Standby Storage, which is what we call our recovery storage. You can check that out in the links. So if you look at that though, we've got four separate uh, potential storage silos just in the backup infrastructure itself. So how can we consolidate that? Well. That's really the, one of the key missions of Store One's S1 Backup. So the way S1 Backup works is uh, first you run uh, our software. And inside, it has two appliances. And it has a flash tier. And a hard disk tier. Now what's important is because of the efficiency of our software, we get maximum performance out of both of these tiers. So here on the flash tier, we can get hundreds of thousands of IOPS with just a few drives. And on the hard drive tier, we can run those hard drives to 90% capacity utilization. Uh, we don't have to keep a lot of free space like most storage systems do today. So now let's talk about consolidating this. So uh, the backup appliance part is, is pretty obvious, I think, right? So uh, we'll put our backup server in here. And as backup data uh, comes in, coming into the appliance, uh, we send it through and we store it on an area of flash. Uh, so that's our backup data. The next one is kind of interesting. It's the, the metadata. As I said, most of the time, you know, that's uh, either an iSCSI mount or locally connected. Uh, well, we're unique in that because we can deliver such high performance from this tier, you can actually put your metadata in here as well. So you've consolidated that. The other advantage you get from that is everything that goes into the S1 backup uh, solution is 100% protected from ransomware. All the data is uh, protected by uh, immutable snapshots. We take those snapshots every 30 seconds and it doesn't impact performance. Uh, so that you're protected in an attack. So if the attack vector is to come after your data or corrupt your metadata, uh, in our environment, that can't happen. It's fully protected. So huge advantage for us there. The retention tier also, retention is built in. So as the backup data ages, it automatically moves down to this hard disk tier, which is full of obviously hard disk drives. Uh, we are unique in that we support very high density drives, so you can use 18 and 20 terabyte drives without compromise. We have very fast rebuilds. If we have a drive failure, we can get you back to a protected state uh, in less than three hours with these high, high capacity, even with these high capacity drives. And as I said earlier, we can run at very high capacity utilization. So huge advantage there. So we've hit that one. And then the last one is this concept of recovery storage. So again, what we can do is have a recovery area. And that recovery area can present a native volume. So you've got two choices here. You can use the uh, instant recovery type of features that tends to be available in many backup softwares uh, packages, or 
you could just directly recover to native volumes here. Now the important thing, remember, everything is being captured in immutable states, so we know that this is a fully protected environment. So if it is a ransomware attack, you're covered there. But the important thing here is now, I've got the three big ones that most people are buying three separate systems for, and I've got a fourth one that most companies aren't even addressing yet, is this idea of a sterile recovery environment, and that's what I'm doing here. So that gives us full protection. If there, if there is a failure or an attack, if your production server goes down, if I've got you know, VMware, Oracle, uh, say Microsoft SQL, uh, or, or a NAS function, I can now mount these directly to those applications and deliver production class performance because it's coming from this high performance flash tier. I've got dual controllers, so there's no single point of failure. I've got my same RAID protection going on. Again, everything's being stored in immutable snapshots. So if there's further corruption, you're protected as well. So this gives you the, the ability to consolidate all your backup infrastructure into a single storage appliance, keep it very, very cost effective, and prepare yourself for recovery in a worst case scenario, either a ransomware attack, a storage controller uh, failure, uh, or a software bug in your production software. So all of that's covered in a single solution, all wrapped together uh, by Store One. Thanks for watching. I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer. Have a great day.